Hey everybody, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com. In this video, I'm going to show you some tricks on how to rotate objects in SketchUp. So the first trick is actually not to use the rotate tool at all. So if you're using groups and components, which you should be, you can take advantage of using the move tool to actually move objects. And it's really a great idea because typically when you're arranging objects around, you're going to be using the move tool anyway. So you can take advantage of the built-in feature that allows you to rotate objects as well. So as you can see here, when you select an object, uh, like a group or a component, uh, you can just tap the space bar to grab the select tool, and you select the object here, and then switch over to the move tool by pressing M on your keyboard or clicking the tool right here. When you hover over the selected object, you get these red crosshairs that appear. And if you just hover over it, you click once to start the rotate. And you can rotate around and you can see down here the angle that you're rotating to. So it'll actually snap to these intervals. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate it to 180 degrees and then finish moving it into place. Now the only disadvantage of using this method is you don't have any control over the center point of the rotation. It'll always rotate around the center uh, point in the group or the component. So if you need more control over that, you need to use the actual rotate tool. Okay, so I'm going to draw a simple cube here. And before I use the rotate tool, I always like to select the object that I'm going to um, rotate first. Um, the reason why I say that is you do have the ability, so I just I just grab the rotate tool um, by pressing Q on my keyboard. You can just hover over objects and you can see they will become pre-selected by the rotate tool. But I prefer actually selecting the object first and then activating the rotate tool um, just so I know that my selection will never change as I move my mouse around. So it just gives me more confidence that I'm going to be rotating the correct thing. So to use the rotate tool, you just, um, per my recommendation, you pre-select the object, although you don't need to, and activate the rotate tool by pressing Q on your keyboard. And then you're going to click once to define the center point uh, from which you want to rotate. So you click once, so now you see the uh, rotate indicator is locked in place, and then you'll drag out to reference a point or an edge or whatever you want to reference um, to start the rotate. You click again, and then you move the mouse to uh, actually rotate the object, and then click again to finish. Now you'll see that SketchUp has um, auto folded. Uh, the faces in order to keep everything connected. I'll go ahead and undo that. And you actually, you don't have to select a point that's within the selection, meaning if I wanted to, I could select a point out here as the center point and rotate um, from that point. But the next trick I want to show you is how to lock the inference. So you can see how um, over here, the rotation will be along the green axis. This is the referencing the blue axis and this is referencing the red axis. If you wanted to lock the reference, you just hold you um, orient to the reference that you want and then you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then now you can drag out to any place you want, any point, and it'll always stay on that reference. Um, so I'll go ahead and click there and then I can rotate from that perspective. Now, if you didn't want to use the shift key or if you didn't have anything to reference in your model, you can actually click and drag to orient the um, rotation plane. So you can see I've locked into the, the blue axis and then I'll go over here and start my rotation like that. Or I can click and drag this way and it'll lock to the red axis and then I can rotate from there as well. So you can do this from any um, any angle. So if I wanted to go diagonally and reference something there 
and then go ahead and rotate along that point I could do that as well now another thing you can do with the rotate tool is create multiple copies so I'll go ahead and pre-select this triangle activate the rotate tool with the Q um, key on my keyboard and then I'll reference the midpoint here uh, the end point there and come down till I get to the center I'll click once to define that as my center point then I'll come up to this point click once to start the rotate so now I'm rotating but now I'm gonna tap control on my keyboard to tell SketchUp that I want to make a copy so I'll make a copy by clicking again to finish and then now I have the freedom to multiply that copy um, by pressing 5 and then the multiplication sign enter and you know I can play around with that number until I get the desired number of copies that I want um, alternatively I could divide it so in this case let's say I'll do 3 and then the the uh, a forward slash symbol press enter and you can see it um, spaces out copies equally um, the distance that I moved the original copy so I'll go back to the nine times and you can see it you can make as many reiterations as you want to get the um, the correct number of copies that you desire as well and the last thing I want to show you is um, so you can see how when you use the rotate tool it snaps to these intervals you can change the default interval by going to window model info units and then under the angle units you can set a different um, um, angle interval so I'll go 45 degrees and now you can see that the um, indicator will now snap to every 45 degrees now the other thing to, as well is I can define my own angle so right now I'm at 45 if I click to finish I can redefine that and say uh, just type in 30 enter and you can see it changes to uh, 30 degrees if I go 25 10 you can do that as many times as you want you just type in the number and then press enter and um, you can change the angle that it rotated well thanks for watching this video on how to rotate objects in SketchUp. If you want to learn more about SketchUp, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You get updates on all the new videos that I create. Thanks for watching.